Today, we're going to test the limits of the Kubota LA805 loader. Hey guys, Zach here from Kubota Lynchburg, and today we wanted to push the limits of the Kubota LA805 loader on its lift capacity. Um, it's a video we get asked for a lot as you're looking at purchasing a Kubota either L4060 or 3560. You want to know what's its actual lift capacity. Now, you can read the brochure like I just did before coming out here, and it'll tell you some of the numbers that you want to know, but are those actually realistic? Is that actually what it can do for your projects? So as we do with these lift capacity videos, basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this loader and we're going to push it until it fails. So we're going to just keep loading it with weight. So real quick, the specs on the LA805 loader, um, and if you look at the, or the numbers or the model of it, LA is for loader arms, 805 is for 805 kilograms of lift capacity. So basically what we're looking at, if you look at the spec book, you're going to be about 1,715 pounds of lift capacity. Now, that doesn't actually fully translate to lift capacity because what that is rated at is at your pivot point. Basically, straight down here where these pins are is your pivot point, and that is where it's rated for 1715. Now, as you're picking up something heavy, obviously, you're picking up further away from that pivot point because you either have pallet forks or grapple or a chain on the front of the bucket, so you're not really testing that 1715 pounds that does have a spec in the book that says basically 20 inches forward. So if we look about roughly here on it, so basically right here at the center of this bucket where the back is, that lift capacity is 1,290 pounds. I wrote it on my hand so I can remember. So basically 1,300 pounds. So you also have to keep in, fa in mind that that factors in the weight of the pallet forks, the bucket, um, the actual pallet itself, because this is a nice heavy duty pallet. So what I'm working with is a land prod CB2580 with teeth, which means this is about 1,200 pounds, maybe a little bit less. You've got the pallet, which is at least 50 to 75 pounds because it's heavy duty wood and it's soaked from sitting outside. Um, and then I have these pallet forks here that weigh about 350 pounds. So all said and done, right now on this tractor, definitely sitting further forward than this 20 inch pivot point or right about that is 1,550 pounds. Um, realistically, probably pu pushing a little bit closer to 1,600 pounds, which is already pushed past its lift capacity limits. But I tested this already. I know it works. So we're going to basically start here. So we're going to show you how this picks up. Chris, if you want to start the tractor as he starts it and runs it and just give it a good lift. Maybe I should walk to the other side so he can hear me. But as he gives it a good lift, he's going to throttle up. He's going to just pick it up a couple feet off the ground. And you can tell we pick it up. Now, I don't test this all the way to the top. So if you're loading trailers or something like that, you know, keep that in mind. But all right, so 1,600 pounds, it picked it up easy off the ground. You can dump that into something. You can pick around logs and everything like that. Um, we do have counter ballast on the rear. And that is extremely important to have counterweight counter ballast on the rear. Now, these tires aren't fluid filled yet. Normally, when you buy a tractor with a loader, you get fluid filled tires, at least from our dealership. Um, and that adds a lot of extra weight. So what I did is I added a 600 pound Land Pride grading scraper to the back to count, act as counterweight. Something very common, you might already have a box blade or a grading scraper. Make sure you're putting that on when you're pushing your loader to the limits. So what I'm going to do now real quick is that was easy. I'm probably going to go ahead and load maybe three, 400 pounds of weight on here real quick. And we're going to test it again. So we're going to push it to closer to, let's say, the 18, 1900 pound range. All right. It's 92 degrees out here right now, and I'm not enjoying in that. Um, it is, let's see, we just added 100, 200, 310 pounds. So if we were at, and maybe uh, Leah will keep up with the math on me on screen, um, if we were at 1600, we're at about 1910. So we're pushing that 2000 pound range. Chris, if you want to pick it up just a foot or two, see what it does. So he throttles up to keep the hydraulic pump going. Then take it nice and easy. You can see those back tires are bouncing around just because of all that weight on the front. 
We're gonna add a little bit more here and we're just gonna keep testing it. All right, that's another 300 pounds. So now we're pushing 2,200 pounds, which again, you know, this is more than 20 inches forward where that weight is sitting. And if that's rated at 1290, we're almost, we're pushing double what it's supposed to lift right now. Chris, raise it again. All right. I didn't bring enough weight. Oh man, I was hoping I brought enough weight. All right, well, I have an extra 185 pounds here and then I'll stand on it. And if we need to, I'll have Leah stand on it. All right, so I added 185, that brings me up to about 200 and 2385 i'll go ahead and stand on it that adds about another 180 pounds i know i look a lot bigger but uh it's all just uh in the in the gym gains give it a shot chris promise this is osha approved curl back ah all right I pushed it to its limits, all right. Well, try again like that. Take off 185. And that, you're feeling it there? All right, so we're gonna call it about 2,400 pounds. I could throw Leah on and add another 120 pounds, but uh, we're gonna call that around 2,400 pounds of lift capacity today. Which again, if you consider that it's rated at almost 1,300, that's it, 20 inches forward, and we're pushing these are 48 inch tines, so we're pushing the weight all the way 48 inches forward. Um, that is more than double of what it's rated for. Again, that rating is for all day, every day, full lift use, but Kubota underrates their loader performance. So if you're looking for a new 4060 or a uh, 3560 with this loader, make sure you have your counterweight, make sure you throttle up on it. Um, but if you just wanted to move like a heavy duty five by six, 2,400 pound round bill around the property, you probably could do it. So of course, if you have questions or need more information or have ideas for other videos, leave me a comment.